Alrighty, tubers. M4 Hobby here, and uh, today y'all get to watch me tear down a uh, well, kind of sort of show you the process of removing a freight drum off a uh, Dana 60. So let me see. I got you guys. Yeah, y'all can see. So let's get to it. First, you gotta remove the tire. There we go. Go ahead and remove your lug nuts. And remove the tire. Next thing we'll go ahead and do is put a jack stand under the rear end. So our truck don't fall on us and crush it. Next, we remove the uh, eight nuts that retain the axle on the rear end. So, one, two, three, Four. Five. Oh yeah, I'm dipping. And four's always dipping. What the hell do you think I do? Okay. After you move all eight of your nuts, you've, uh, to show you. Got to remove these ooh, little retainers. So, oh, can't spin it. The other side's on the ground. But the way you do that, the way I do it's with a hammer. So let me set y'all back down. All right. Let's take your hammer here. There's two of them. Come popping off right at me. And you want to be careful not to hit your studs here. The bastards don't want to come out. There you go. Damn axle holding slight tension on it. Huh. Screwdriver here and maybe. Oh, it's 
son of a bitch. Aaron's kind of stuck. These ones are kind of stuck too. What the hell? There we go. There's all eight of your retainers out. Next thing you go and do, let me grab a rag. Or a paper towel. Let's go ahead slide that axle out. And that's what a Dana 60 floating axle looks like. So we'll set this out on the bed. Next, what you're going to go ahead and want to do is remove your hub nuts. And that these little guys here, I'll show you in a second, or what holds the hub on. Now, they do make a special socket to remove these, but I don't own one. So I did it the old redneck way, with a hammer and a screwdriver. There's a retainer. Behind the first hub nut, it's got these tabs on her that keep your outer nut from backing off. There you go. That's on. Now I'm using the old redneck method, which involves a screwdriver and a hammer to remove this. Yeah, it seems to work. Loosen up the first nut. There's your first nut. I'll show you. This little guy here. Oh, y'all can see that. There's the first one. It's double nutted, but in between the two, you have. This here retainer. Whew. Which somebody broke one of the damn tabs off of it. It wasn't me. We got an internet. This one tends to be more of a bit because it's recessed. It's loose. snap rings in these. Something like that. Just your two hub nuts and your retainer. There's your second one. Now what you're going to want to do is grab your hub. Just kind of slide it out. And attempt to slide it back in. There you go. And there's your outer wheel bearing. Place that off to the side. Then grab your hub here. And there you go. The drum and the hub come right off. So, we got that. I'm find my damn paper towel. Wipe my hands off so I can grab the camera. Oh, hell yeah. So. 
yours. Your hub, which consists of your brake drum, and there's your hub. Here on the inside, there's your inner wheel bearing, and your studs, they go through the drum. And through the hub piece itself, which is right here, and then you got your inner, your outer wheel bearing and your two nuts in your retainer. That's what hold that on. Here in the axle tube, your nuts thread. You would put your hub on, thread your first nut on, and it's got a keyway for your retainer. Slip it in between, put your outer nut on, then you bend the tabs your retainer back over to keep the outer nut from coming off. That's what holds it all together. And the whole reason for me doing this, because there's a spring that your uh, upper retainer spring and your brakes. And if you remember on the Where's M4 Bend video, that spring I was showing you, yeah, that's that spring. It broke it. So what I got over here is a spring kit from Napa. And let's find it. This spring here is the one I need. The cool thing about this, I never even noticed it. Made in USA, not China. So, give me a minute here. Let me slip this here spring in and uh, I'll be back. Alrighty, tubers. Got my spring installed. I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. As you can see, zoom in, it'll focus. Nope. That's the only viable hole on this side, is right there. Then right there. So I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I'm sure if I have it in the wrong place, it either won't work or you know, fall apart. So. Yep, yeah, that's how it goes over here at M4 Hobby. Trial and error. So now, with that spring installed, we'll uh, show you the reassembly process. Yay! Y'all are getting all kinds of shit from M4 today. Told you I'd do some how-tos. First, uh, yeah, some of this shit out of the inside of the hub. A little bit of dirt caked up in here. Try and keep it out of the grease for the gosh dang wheel burn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. All right. All righty. It's all the dirt out of there. Yeah, that's probably not good for the wheel bearing grease, but that's good as it's gonna get for the moment. Put it back on. Kind of set it up on the axle tube there. And we'll grab our outer wheel bearing. Right there. And you want to put it, it's tapered, you want to put the tapered end to the inside. Yep. Set that in there and then make sure your hub's seated all the way back. Okay, and then we'll take, it don't matter the order you put your nuts back in, we'll call this the inner, and we'll just thread it back on, son of a bitch. They're always kind of a pain in my ass. Come on, M4, get the damn nut on there. Yeah, my hand's blocking y'all. Probably can't see. Don't matter, just a piece of shit camera records such a low resolution video. Oh, goddammit. 
Yeah, you really gotta try at it to cross thread these damn things. There it goes. Just twirl it on there. Try and get it all the way back with your hand. Far back as you can get her. Okay, we got the inner axle nut on. <laughs> I can't find my goddamn grease still. That's alright. I got another one. Kind of, sort of, wipe my hands. And we'll take our retainer. And we will line up our keyway. Just like that. Oh, actually, no, nope, not like that. We need to tighten up that inner up net. And of course, the damn thing won't want to come out. There it goes. Yeah, clean enough. Get my tools all greasy. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much universal for old Dana 60s as far as I know. I've never, never come across one that was different. It's tight. Ish. Quick disclaimer, if you do it this way, and your hub falls off your truck, don't blame me. You should go and buy the right tool, or I should. I will eventually. And we'll take our other axle nut. Hub nut. Excuse me, hub nut. And... Do the same thing we did with the interim. Oh, that went pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, the hotter than all hell out here. I'm just dripping sweat. There we go. Take our screwdriver and take this some buck right on up. It's going really easy. Oh, son of a bitch. It would do that. I like to get the outer one tight as possible. The inner one's more of a pain in the ass because it's recessed. Got to get a good bite on it. Alright. If you will back that up, we'll line it up with the retainer. Just because we can. I just took quite a bit loose. This is the joys of being your own mechanic. Got a shop, but I don't use it. I prefer sitting out in, the dri in my driveway, in the weather, pouring sweat, make up its damn mind of what the hell it wants to do. A little more. There we go. And you know what we're going to call that? We're going to call it good enough for good enough for the girls I go with, boys! And you just want to bend your tabs over ever so Gingerly. 
without breaking them. These are kind of a... These retainers are always kind of shitty to work with. I mean, I'm sure they were fine when they first installed them at the factory. You know, but 30 years later down the road, you're doing this. They uh, definitely want to come apart on you. They, uh, they want to bend up. So... It's, you just kind of got to do it by feel. You do it enough times and you just kind of know. Still a little wee bit loose. I've never been able to get one of these some bitches all the way fully tight without the socket. And I don't own a socket. So. But I've never had one come apart neither. Hopefully I didn't just stick my foot in my own mouth. But anywho, we'll take our axle here, and the way you do this, you just stick her in the hole, non perverently speaking, as some of you dirty-minded people out there are thinking. <coughs> now that you got that, take your retainers and blow the dirt off of them, because they're rolling around in the driveway and just reinstall them. Like so. Clean enough? This ain't heart surgery, boys. They don't gotta be perfect. Some people may. But like I just said, good enough for the girls I go with. Now, if I had replaced that spring, my brakes would drag, and I would risk blowing the rear wheel cylinder out in the rear end, which ultimately leads to the brake pedal going to the floor, um, you know, getting off the freeway or something, and hitting a car with a family, with children, and yeah, spending a couple years in prison, and all that good happy shit. So, might as well just fix her. Yep, little redneck M4 how-to video. <coughs> Gosh, damn, I got a cough. Just get all them on there. Tighten them up. Some say you should torque them. Click. 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 Oh, hey. I kind of screwed up my pattern there. Oops. Click. 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 That looks a little loose. Click. Done. There you go, tubes. That's how you break down a Dana 60 axle hub assembly. Uh, most commonly to work on your brakes. Yep. That's that, tubers. So, until next time, M4 Hobby Sam. Bye-bye.